And on November 1st, she had a seizure that morning, didn't she? She did. Yeah. She had a, a small seizure. Um, and I, and it's funny because I could tell, I noticed it. And, and I said, why don't we sleep in a little bit longer? Um, and so we finally, that was at like 7 in the morning. We got out of bed around 9. Um, and, um, well, we, we took a walk. We went for a hike. Her thing to do, her favorite yeah, thing to she do. she loved being outside. So we did uh, take a hike. Um, but, you know, by hike, it was, it was a walk, a, a flat uh, more or less paved with family, with, with her friends, with the dogs. And, um, well, we got back to the house, and, and she just knew that, that it, was, it was her time. Um, so, you know. Did you know in your heart that it was her time? Because it's... <clears throat> that, that's the thing is, is you, you don't want to let go of your loved one. But um, to, to suggest that she should suffer for me, for anyone, no, it's, that's, so that's what you struggle with, that here's the person I love and I don't want to see her go, um, but the seizure that morning was a reminder of what she was risking because what was coming next was losing her eyesight, becoming paralyzed, uh, and the inability to speak, and then she'd be essentially trapped in her own body. You know, we got to know Brittany's story in the weeks leading up to her passing. Yeah. Um, because she wanted that story out. Uh, but days before she took her life, the media suggested that she was actually having second thoughts about that. Yeah. Is there any truth to that? No. Um, and, and I appreciate the opportunity to, to kind of set the record straight there. The weeks leading up to Brittany's death, um, her symptoms were getting bad. Um, <clears throat> those videos were taped two weeks before, three weeks before. So... The, the pictures that people were seeing a couple of days before and um, what she mentioned in that video that it's up to the patient. And, and so she was trying to get the point across that it is the patient's option um, to decide when for them it, it, that it's their time. So that was misleading and it was just the timing of the release of that and maybe the headlines that got splashed across. Um, but Brittany's seizures were getting worse. They were getting more intense. They were becoming more frequent. The pain she was feeling, um, the, 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 the discomfort, the, the headaches. Um, and when those seizures would hit, um, you know, there was one instance where we had to go to the hospital. Uh, she couldn't speak for four hours after that one instance. And, and the last seizure she had um, was, was the most horrific and scary for her. So... Unfortunately, that video, just because of when it came out, it gave the impression that, oh, well, she looks healthy. Exactly. But that in, was not the case whatsoever. Her health was deteriorating daily uh, leading up to November 1st.